And that was Walk the Moon. It's almost as if I'd thought about it. 14 minutes to 10, a West Yorkshire village is now in the middle of its Moonshine Festival. Hundreds of picture windows in Slathwaite are being lit up and are for the next few nights on display in every street pretty much featuring works of art along the theme of water. It's our final conversation on the weekend part one, our Saturday breakfast here on BBC Radio Leeds. I'm Andrew Edwards, lovely to have your company and here to tell you all about it is Jill Bond who helps organise the whole Fandango. Jill, how are you? Good morning. Good morning, Andrew. Well, I heard you speaking to Richard about this when it was uh, before it all started earlier in the week. Now you're underway. How's it going? Well, it is. It's just magical, is all I can say. It um, as an organizer of uh, events and festivals, um, this one is one that just packs so many surprises because you never quite know what is going to appear around the village. It's a lovely idea. Should we go back to the very beginning for people who don't know what we're talking Mm. about? And I mentioned a little earlier, I wonder if people will have rakes at the ready. So uh, let's just explain why moonshine. This is not the alcoholic moonshine, is it? No, it's not. No, it's actually um, uh, a a COVID response from last year. So usually in Slawit, we do a festival called the Moonraking Festival. Because in our village, we have a legend that tells of smugglers raking um, out the moon. And that's their excuse as they're hiding their illicit liquor. Um, (laughs) And we've taken that story and we've created this wonderful event over the last 30 odd years where we create lovely lanterns made out of uh, willow and tissue paper and uh, rake a giant lantern moon from the canal and carry it splendidly round the village in celebration of Slawit. Um, But of course, unfortunately, COVID put pay to that in 2021, which we do it in the odd year now. Um, And so we devised this moonshine event as a way of being able to still connect people, to be able to be creative together and share people's creativity, which is what we do with the lanterns, really. It's, it's a lovely it's, idea. I think you're just big enough and just small enough, in a sense, to make everybody yeah. come together and make this very special. Yes, exactly that, Andrew. It's um, it's uh, just the right size for for people to be able to really feel. Well, they do. They collectively make this artwork whether it's making a lantern or whether it's creating a picture to light and put up at their window just explain how the window works i love that idea and and of course at christmas quite a few people do this um, i think of some of the wonderful windows in salt air for example so how in practice does that work the window well um what we've done is we've created three basic techniques for creating a picture and that is using black paper to create silhouettes using um, uh, cartridge paper to colour in with your felt tip pens and then put a bit of oil on to make it go see-through. And then we're also using tissue paper, uh, a bit like you did in school, you know, with that sort of stained glass window. I know what you mean, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so there's three techniques and we um, give people packs of those materials to make it easy for them because you don't always have an A1 piece of tracing paper just hanging about in your house. <laughs> so people can collect that those packs, so they've got the resources, they've got some ideas that we put, put on our um, website, and we do some, you know, sort of online workshops, that kind of thing, for people to really get the idea of what to do. Um, and then... Basically, over the four days, they put their picture up in their window, they put a light behind it, um, and they leave it on. And uh, then hopefully they go out of their house and they walk around and see what everybody else has done. What a lovely idea. We're having a wander. She called it Slavic. She's allowed to. I'm going to call it Slathwaite because I'm not from there. This is Jill Bond, and we're talking about the Moonshine Festival, the Moon Raking, back next year. Andrew Edwards with you on BBC Radio Leeds at 10 to 10. You feel that's fair. I can't really slough at you, but you're happy to do that, are you, Jill? Well, you know, sort of um, slough it, slough weight, never slate weight. That's the uh, that's the rule, really. Um, yeah, 
depends, as you say, where you're from. I does it bring visitors in? Because that, I think of what the, the whole area does um, it, it is very good at that, of actually, you know, whether it's bringing people along, I don't know, along the railway <laughs> and having a drink or whatever it may be, or looking at the canals or going up into the countryside. Does it bring people from outside in as well as get people from the community to have a look at their own community with new eyes? Yeah, both, I think. I mean, definitely the Lantern event brought in thousands of people to take part and, you know, became, you know, quite an, an, a, 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 certainly a regional event. Um, the moonshine, obviously, last year in lockdown, we couldn't invite people in. So it really not. was something for local people to take their constitutional walk for once a day around the pictures. But this year, we can. And we will delight in... Um, greeting people, welcoming them to the village. It is not an event in the normal sense. So what's happening today? If somebody's listening and thinking, I'd love to go as the light yeah. fades, I'd love to see some of these windows, where, yeah. what, what do people need to know? They need to know that they can download a map of Slathwaite with some clues as to where they will find windows. Every street will have at least a window in it. It's not every house but every street and then enjoy a walk around the village there's a lot in the center but there's some absolutely cracking pictures in little hidden places so round the back of brook terrace for example there are some beautiful windows up at hilltop there's an array of different windows but you have to look for them they're like it's like a treasure hunt they've got a very nice website i should tell you so just look for moonshine festival it's in slathwaite the moon raking back next year and i do love that story of you know we were no nothing to see here we're just raking the canal to look for exactly. the exactly uh, yeah just fantastic i'm going to read you a little verse to end light up your lantern light up your light remember your friends on this cold frosty night the moon she has fallen out of the sky Take her and slough it and hold her up high. Peace to the village, peace to the town, peace to all cities, all the world round. Seems very relevant in this of all time after the events elsewhere in the last few days. Jill, I've really enjoyed that. And uh, all power to you for the Moonshine Festival and we look forward to the moon raking back next year. Thank you so much, Andrew. Lovely to speak, Jill. Thank you. Jill Bond from the Slathwaite Moonshine Festival. Final conversation for the weekend part one, our Saturday breakfast together. I'm back tomorrow morning with producer Julie Langford for our Sunday breakfast from six. Nick Ahad is next, slightly shorter than usual because we've got a bumper afternoon.